Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Rolfes from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfes. The reason why I'm bursting out laughing, we just um, finished up um, episode three and I <laughs> realized I've been a total jerk, Aww. like not letting Squeak do, um, do conclusions for the first two episodes. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, <laughs> don't screw up the vibe we've had on this one where she's been saying hi with me. You know, I'm one of those people who can mess up saying hi and goodbye. I really am. Oh, dude, same. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I pressed B for the, the thing. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Look at that. And there aren't no monsters up here. I still need a save room. So in the last episode, not a whole lot happened, but we... We climbed some ladders. We climbed the ladders. We, we got... saw some vegetation. Saw some vegetation. Got a transmission from the uh, static from static mustache. That'll be the guy's name, because I couldn't make out his actual name. Um, and we need to... Something... Oh, God, there's a dude. Hey, you. Hey, you. Are you... Human? Yeah, I'm Sergeant Ingalls from the Spark Team. You're safe. There's nothing to accomplish here. There's nothing to do but abandon ship. Calm down. Evacuate to the flight deck. Help is on its way. If you don't leave, they'll kill you. Well, he actually evacuated. Good for him. Wouldn't it be crazy? If you had your goggles on and you looked in the mirror and it said monster. Oh, that'd be cool. Visibility is good and the radar is still operating. Well, that's good. I would love a saver. Because I have the feeling I'm going to mess up pretty badly. Body of a crew member. It looks like it has been shot. Run, 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 run. <laughs> make it my laps. Gotta make your laps, you know? Yeah, so there's legit no save thing here, so. On we go. Wonder if I can bring up the map and get a uh, save room. <laughs> Catapult control room. Oh, that's gonna be used inappropriately. <laughs> yeah, I get my hands on a catapult control room. You know I will not be responsible with it. Stay away from me. Calm down, I'm part of the Spark Team. Spark Team? Yeah, we're evacuating survivors to the flight deck. All right, Boys I'll go there. For Do you know a pilot named Bob Ingalls? Bob? He's my brother. I think I've heard the name somewhere, but... Hmm. You know, maybe if you check the crew list using a terminal here, you'll find something. I see. I'll check it later. Do you know where the weapon storage is? Well, from here, you go back into the ship and go straight. It's beyond partition C. To get in, you'll need an ID card. Here, take mine. Thanks. A2 ID card, yeah. Oh, do I see a saver? Nip. No, but there's an item. Ooh, I do like me some level 2 energy drinks. Because I've not been too good at this, guys. I've been um, bungling this. Short distance transmitter, no response. The course of the Heimdall has been plotted for the operation on board. It will reach North America in two days. Oh, we better get that uh, zombie thing uh, squared away. Yeah. 2023 and we're running Windows, you know. <laughs> Access confirmed. Monday to Friday, assigned a scramble team. Presently at sea. Deck 3, AM 303. Bob, I hope you're okay. A list of the crew. Nah, that's cool. Well, what day is today? 
Uh, today's the... Um, Horavendish Day. <laughs> the guy's probably thinking he's so weird. What are you doing? Evacuate, quickly! I'll leave after taking one last look around. Don't worry about me. Yeah, take a, take a last look. Whoa, Heimdall, I really loved you. Yeah, the name of this aircraft carrier is apparently the Heimdall, this game. It's about um, terrorists from the southern hemisphere out of um, envy for um, uh, the north and for the north's um, uh, use of resources, etc., etc. That's the basic gist. But, um... Uh, the North is experimenting with this ancient organism known as Ark, but um, as we can see, Ark is really scary and uh, kind of whopping my rear. And also, this game is major tank controls. Do, do, ladder, ladder. anyone like fangirl about this game why would you it's very very boring like you hear people fangirl about resident evil and silent hill and and a few people here and there for dino crisis yeah those are mostly the more nostalgic people but yeah this game has given me that like dino crisis feel if like dino crisis was done by the kids who just really didn't care if they, like, failed the class or not. You, you know. You... Yeah. Ah, the Dreamcast. So you know the government's probably just gonna nuke this whole Heimdall. Probably. And everyone on it. Oh, dude. <laughs> Oh, right at my ankles. Do I not have, do I still not have any good weapon? Come on, man. I do like how as opposed to most other um, survival horrors, they do give you like a, um, a free weapon to use, you know, in case you run out of ammo. Well, Resident Evil gives you the knife. Yeah, but, you know, this... Uh, I feel like even if I just have my welder, I feel like I can accomplish something, you know? I feel like I'm not completely screwed, so... Yeah. Um, A2 was... We good for now, brah. We good for now. Oh, oh! No! Think your thing's on the fritz, brah! <laughs> In case I haven't noticed, my chair is not super comfortable. Whoa! Hey, bro. Help me. Help me! It's going to kill me! It's a monster! Don't let it fool you, son! It's going to kill me! It says danger on both of them. He's safe. Yeah. So... Hi. Wow! <laughs> Yeah.
Oh, it's a good thing you're able to figure it out. How you doing? I'm Alan. I'm Sergeant Ingalls from Spark. I'm asking all survivors to go to the flight deck. Yeah, and like actually you should go there too. <laughs> the flight deck? <laughs> there are no safe places left on this here ship. Well, you must have noticed by now yep. the whole ship is screwed up, son. It's impossible to tell who's on our side and who is not. You can't trust anyone but yourself. That means you too. Thanks. But I'll make my own decisions. That's how you want it. Good luck. I've got work to do. Be careful. You too. Here, you better take this. By the way, son, thanks for saving my butt. Wait, if he can't trust us and won't evacuate to the flight deck, why did he give us a healing item? I'm not complaining. We did actually save him. Okay. So apparently the zombies can talk. Oh, that is your second disc. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, the zombies can talk. Although I doubt what that guy was alluding at, that they can, they have the mental capacity to come up with a plan to deceive people. Yeah. I hear him, but I don't see him. Okay, I see you now. You know, I miss, like, you know, actual ammunition. <laughs> yeah, this game doesn't seem to be loading you up too much. I'm running low on energy drinks, too, so... That ain't good. I'd say just run through here. Yeah, but, you know. I mean, he's being stupid. Like, sometimes when it's handed to you, man, you know? Yeah, that's true. So we want to go see the computer dude. Yes, the the guy who, like, pulled a gun on us when we first met, and it's like... Dude, you're always doing that. Dude, I told you to evacuate. Um, this way, yes? I believe so. Yeah, this leads yeah, to here. Yeah, and then here. up the rampy. me a little bit of vibes of um, that one game, Enemy Zero. Like, yeah, but... Nowhere near as good, but like, in yeah. that you can't see the enemies. Right. Yeah, and I do like the element of, like, using sound, and they are good sounds, so I will give this game that. Like, some good sounds are happening at us. Uh, deck one security room? Yeah. So, that away. Which is good, because I know for a fact I can uh, take a save there. Hey, brah. Come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry Maybe up. Maybe we don't. Who knows? He said he needed two discs, and we just got the second one. Alrighty, so... I, and I have actually no idea how to, um... Check um, how many discs I have, or what's in my inventory, or anything useful like that, but, um... 
Yeah, when you have to check a guide to see the basic controls of the game. You know, and the Dreamcast doesn't have that many buttons, so, um... Yeah, I, I'm not super swarmed with options here, you know? I did not grab the bomb, so I can't go in through there, and I don't really want to go in through there because there's monsters in there. Squeak doos, I'm looking up with our friend uh, Christopher there. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently a lot of interesting results come up when you Google carrier check inventory. Yeah? Like desert carrier, HVAC parts online. Oh, okay. The Code yeah. of Federal Regulations of the United States. Of course, yeah, because like actual aircraft carriers. Okay, yeah, I can I can feel that, yeah. Some things are just named so generically that they just cause havoc when you try to Google them. <laughs> How long have you been searching things, Squeak Do? Though, <laughs> like, yeah, carrier, like, uh, yeah, maybe yeah. like carrier Dreamcast. Dreamcast. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, we've all done that, thinking, yeah, I'll just, you know, pop this search term in, and then, you know, oh, yeah, they, I could be, you know, I'm looking up pigeons for how to full boyfriend, and I'm getting all these results about actual pigeons. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> and I think yes, I here we only go. want two activation discs. So, we I don't get think what his problem is, unless, like, there's multiple activation discs. And, like, I got them the wrong ones, you know? That could be. Yeah, although we did get those, um... We got that key card access to get us to the B areas, so we can do a little bit of exploring there before we call it for the night. Yeah, I think the... Wasn't it the A2 area? Yeah, A2. And I said B. Well, like... Two and B, B is this. <laughs> yeah. It, kids, it hurts when you're um, not very smart, but, um. Well, darn hell! Then what did that guy give me? Uh, seriously. A2. A2. And this is one B. Ah! Uh, dude! Do not! Alright. Deactivate the intercept system. You gotta go to the weapons control room on deck six. Hey man, be careful. Was there an A2 in the first area, like with the computer guy and the doctor? I wouldn't remember. Well, we can keep looking around here. Yeah, because, like, I don't want to go back there, because I will never find my way back here, man. <laughs> I wonder, are the, um, yellow rooms, are those save rooms? That could very well be. I'll have to, yeah, you know, imagine if I would have done, like, some actual research on this before jumping in head first. Well, and it's I, always kind of fun to see people go in not knowing too much about it, though. This is true, and, like, the instruction booklet is literally right there. Like, literally, oh, no, it's not in arm's reach. <laughs> That's a bit of a deal breaker. It's just slightly past it. Slightly past it. Oh my goodness. Like, not even funny, man. Accio instruction book. Accio instruction book, you know? Yeah, so, um, I mean, I don't even need to worry about saving because I didn't do nothing. So, I am so sorry that the last 10, 15 minutes of this was um, completely boring. Well, it was still pretty fun. No, fun's not the word I would use, um, but hey, you know, sometimes... Atmospheric? No. You know, sometimes you, I put on an LP uh, um, late at night and just, you know, kind of go to sleep during them. This is that, and this episode of this particular LP 
should um, definitely have that squared away for you. Let the plant boys lull you to sleep. Yeah, let the planty boys lull you to sleep, you know, man? But anyway, I'm Jordan Rolfes from Beagle Rampant Productions. <laughs> and I'm Selena Rolfes. <laughs> and I mastered it! I did it without <laughs> stepping on her toes, and Yay! I let her actually <laughs> sign off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, um... Go ahead, follow us on uh, some social media. Squeak Doos on the um, Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Luna Dollface27 on Instagram and Luna Rainbow on Twitter. Yeah, so um, those are fun things. I'm at Jorn Von Beagle, J O R N Von Beagle, B E A G O E. And I mean, I haven't actually tossed the social media links um, out for the previous three episodes, so it's weird that I started it now. It's but... like a bonus for people who have made it this far. I mean, and God bless you if you made it this far. And especially on this episode, I feel like this one was particularly boring. We had long periods of silence. I didn't talk to you guys about Halloween well, or that anything. That was me trying to um, it, it was look at yeah, how to see the inventory, which I yeah. still haven't seen. Like... I've seen things about how you should buy this game if you like Resident Evil. And, like, general walkthroughs, but the general walkthroughs just kind of get right into the meat of the game. They don't really talk about yeah, the inventory. Yeah, and, like, the instruction booklet's literally right there. I c but it's, n it's just out of my arm's reach, man, so that is well, a I might do breaker. some reading... For our next episode. For, for our next episodes. Our next um, series of episodes. Yeah, so um, thank you guys once again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And God bless you if you made it this far. Like, the, of all the worst videos I've done, this is probably up there. But, um, no. you know, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I wonder what. Uh, also, comment down below what you think my worst video <laughs> oh. is. Like that, that won't get hurtful at all. But yeah, let me know what you think the worst video is. Um, yeah, it would be like none. They're all oh. brilliant. <laughs> well, well, Squeak Doo knows. Um, uh, flattery will get you everywhere, Squeak Doo. But we're rambling, so we will catch you guys later. We love you so much, and you're the best. Bye. Bye.